This is an IE441 Fall 2022 Capstone Design Class. Our client company is United Equipment Accessories located in Waverly Island. They manufacture custom hydraulic swivels and rotary unions. Our project was specifically involved with the machining, assembly and testing departments. The topic of our project is to create an effective and efficient training program for UEA. When we first met with UEA, it was clear that they were having issues in their assembly testing and machining areas for their hydraulic swivel assemblies. A lot of the information gathered was given by a general concession of the multiple experienced operators. The first issue we tied to the problem statement was that these experienced operators were spending too much time training and in doing so, not spending enough time performing their value-added tasks. This was seen as an opportunity cost and our goal was to lessen the amount substantially with our training materials. Another problem we were made aware of in the machining area specifically was the fact that UEA was encountering three machine breakdowns on average annually. According to these operators, these breakdowns were almost always caused by negligence of new operators in early stages of their employment. We noted that this was something our training materials should set out to avoid by teaching the necessary information to lessen the chances of this happening in the future. Our final design was on par with what UEA expected. We got the okay from them on this while presenting our future state design on site, which we were proud of after having some setbacks during our current state analysis. Our design was put into their training software called Alchemy. When a new employee opens our training materials, they are greeted with a nice format of all the tasks placed linearly in Alchemy. They first read through the process overview. This overview gives a broad explanation of what they will be working on how it pertains to the overall goal at UEA and somewhat of a process flow visualization so they understand their role at UEA in a broader sense. Then they are able to get into the meat of the material. This involves a step-by-step, -step, task descriptions, safety, tools used, and common mistakes. After so many of these tasks are read through, they are met with a short video that has real operators performing the tasks they just read about. This was an effort to help the learning process of new employees alleviating the eye and mental strain that could be a byproduct of reading through so many tasks. After an employee finishes with their materials, they are given a short 10 question quiz to measure their cognitive retainment of the material. We also performed a study on 15 random subjects to see if someone with little to no knowledge of these processes could learn the materials in the format we created them. We were pleased to see that the average of all of these scores was above 70% and machining, assembly, and testing. One of our objectives was to reduce experienced operator training time by 20%. UEA made it very clear that hands-on training was still something they wanted to keep around, so it couldn't be fully eliminated with our training materials. But we thought it was important to still reduce the experienced operator training time. We would achieve this 20% by having our training materials give a broad overview of all the processes, while also teaching the most key processes and safety considerations. This would all be a good segue into hands-on training that would answer a lot of the initial questions people have and clear up a lot of the confusion. Another objective was to reduce CNC downtime by 66%. UEA told us that on average they deal with three CNC breakdowns a year. And this is a big issue because these incur repair costs and also lost profits from having the machines not running. To help avoid these mistakes proactively before people even get hands on training, we added a common mistake section to our training materials. After shadowing during our current state analysis, we learned that there really weren't any standardized steps because UEA is an inherently low volume, high mix company. This made it a little bit difficult to make training materials because it would be impossible to cover all theoretical steps. We covered instead the steps that happen almost every time regardless of the variability of the product. Through interviews, we determined which process steps have the biggest safety considerations and highest likelihood to create a defective unit if done incorrectly. We called these priority steps and our training materials would take special care to highlight these steps to avoid mistakes before they even happen. We also continuously filmed during our current state analysis shadowing so that our training materials could have strong visuals to accompany the text. At Iowa State University, the Industrial Engineering Department emphasized the importance of backing up our actions in this capstone project with concrete, economically justifiable numbers and actions. There are a few different ways our team found ways to have an economic impact with our project. All the economic impacts for our project were based around better educating operators through our design. Educating the operators on critical steps, the priority steps in the machining, assembly, and testing processes was one of the primary targets of our design and one of the biggest contributors to the project's economic impact. Reducing errors and saving experienced operators time reduces revenue losses, quality issues, and repair expenses for United Equipment Accessories. The total projected annual savings from our project is $279,615.